given x is greater than 1, arrange from least to greatest. Here we have a bunch of x's and radical signs, and even we have reciprocals. So one strategy to arrange this is to rewrite using fractional exponents. We know that fractions also relate to the radical symbol. So here, this, this the natural radical symbol, the one with no index, no number, means square root. And the square root is the same thing as 1 half. This being the index 2, that's how strong it is. And this one here is going to be, <clears throat> I'm focusing on the bottom part here. This is going to be the cube root of x. It's going to be x to the 1 third. However, because we have the reciprocal, the reciprocal has a negative exponent. So we stick a negative sign there. And here, this is x squared. However, because we're taking the cube root of this whole thing, we're going to have a denominator 3. This index 3 here matches with the, the denominator over here. So one possible solution is to rewrite it as a fractional exponent and then to use our intuition uh, that the greater the exponent, as long as x is greater than 1, uh, it means that the result is going to be a, a bigger number. So here we're going to arrange the smallest exponent is negative 1 third x to the 1 half and finally x to the 2 thirds. So here the answer would be a since x to the negative 1 third would be this one here, x to the 1 half would be this one here, and x to the 2 thirds is this one here. Now a little bit more clear would be to use a concrete example. So if I were to say x is greater than 1, let's just say square root of 2 versus 1 over the cube root of 2 versus the cube root of 2 squared, we can use our calculator. I have here the square root of 2 is equals to 1.41 approximately. So I'll just write, this is approximately 1.414. And the second one here would be 1 over math. Let me just, this means cube root here. The cube root of 2, enter. This one here would be approximately 0.7937. And finally, the last one here would be, so math, the cube root of 2 squared, which is 4, obviously, but press Enter. This one here is approximately 1.587. So clearly, uh, this is the smallest. This is the smallest. And this one here is going to be the largest. Largest. So I wrote these out correspondingly, such that this here is the largest. And this one here should be the this one here should be the smallest. So if this is the case, if this is the smallest, that's this one here. And if this is the largest, that's this one here. So choice A is correct.